LPKS Circuit Pro software is included with each of the latest systems, which enables importing of standard Gerber or DXF data, as well as many others, and allows for control of the operation of the machine. In addition, LPKF's most recent machines have been focused on our protolaser models. The LPKF protolaser system was first introduced in 2000 and it provided advanced capabilities for rapid in-house prototyping using a laser beam to remove and ablate the metallization. Alumina-based ceramics and RF materials are some of the most common that are used with the lasers and the laser allows for a 2 mil trace with 1 mil spacing. Through LPKF's patented hatch and delamination process, strips of metal are actually created with the laser and then removed with the air knife blowing across the surface of the material. This process allows for large areas of copper to be fully laser etched with the Protolaser S and U3 models. And this is achieved at speeds of approximate full removal of one square inch per minute. Precise microwave and RF circuits can be manufactured to exact requirements with the protolaser systems, as well as with the mechanical options, on almost any substrate, including PTFE and ceramics with the laser models, as completed designs match simulation software almost perfectly. Very little effect to the substrate is possible with an operator adjustment to the settings, and these settings for the laser systems are savable, so these tools can be used for future applications on that same material with the same metallization. The protolaser systems are quickly becoming an invaluable addition for advanced research labs to generate high-frequency designs. Microelectromechanical system development, or MEMS, and even small batch production laser etching of sensors, antennas, filters, and so on is a common capability for the protolaser models. A 25 micron beam is utilized on the protolaser S and a 15 micron beam on the protolaser U3 with the software allowing for adjustment to the laser power, travel speed, pulse frequency, and repetitions to develop that laser tool for future use on a wide range of substrates. If we can be of any assistance regarding your research and development applications, please do not hesitate to contact LPKF directly for additional information. You can reach us at www.lpkfusa.com and additional information will be provided at the end of this video. I thank you for your time and hope you have a great day.